What's going on guys? This is JB the Chiha and originally I was super duper excited with the announcement that One Punch Man season two will be coming in literally two weeks from today as of the recording of this video anyway. And when I watched the trailer, I was hyped and it wasn't until I actually read the comments and saw people pointing out flaws in the animation. Then I went back and watched the trailer again and I'm like, okay, this doesn't look as good as I thought. So um, I was, I can honestly say I was blinded by hype at first. I mean, everyone probably has done that before. Overlook things just because they're hype. Because One Punch Man, we've been waiting a long time for this, right? So, um, and before I start, let me say there's probably many other videos talking about this animation. Um, I've seen like maybe one or two, but I know it's all over the place simply because it's a big thing is One Punch Man. People have been waiting for this for literally years. Um, I haven't watched too many people's videos. I don't know the exact reasoning behind the uh, studio change and animation quality and whatnot. But what I do know is that it does not look as good as season one. I know they switched from Madhouse Studios into, uh, I forgot the name of the other one. I know they did Food Wars and some other popular animes, but um, right away, that yelled at me like, okay, maybe an anime uh, studio that made Food Wars should not be the ones to handle One Punch Man. But I mean, hey, I held out hope. And I was excited the first time I saw the trailer. I mean, I can actually identify each character. Like, the animation isn't that bad where they look like Episode 5 of Dragon Ball Super, if you know what I mean. But, I mean, it's not the animation that we're used to, but... I'm not going to say that animation can't dampen an experience for an anime because it damn sure can. I mean, if you really didn't care about animation at all, then you will probably just read the manga, you know what I'm saying? But um, I will say that I'm still going to watch it. I'm going to watch every episode, whether it's disastrous or not. I'm just happy that we're getting any One Punch Man in any media besides the manga, um, you know, I did start reading the manga years ago after the first season, but I only read like maybe 20-ish chapters after that, then I kind of fell off for whatever reason. So this is the only other way we're going to get One Punch Man, so I'm going to take it, bad animation or not. Now, I do know that Madhouse Studios, when they were give, blessing us with season one, um, they had a lot of outside help. I believe that I heard somewhere, I read somewhere that the director um, hired a whole bunch of other people to come in and help out with the animation as to why it looks so good because it's not it's not just Madhouse. I mean, they always do a phenomenal job for everything I've seen from them anyway. I have er heard other people saying that, you know, Madhouse has had some flops here and there. I mean, I'm sure every company has, but it wasn't just them. And with this new studio, it would be almost impossible for them to live up to what Madhouse did because it wasn't just Madhouse, it was a lot of other people. Now, I don't know how long this studio knew they would be working on One Punch Man because in the trailer, there's a, like a lot of black screens kind of hinting that the animation isn't all the way there, like it's not all the way done, like some scenes haven't been filled in correctly. Um, as of the time of that trailer, that's usually what it means. It could just be how, they, how the editor made it for whatever reason. And there isn't that much action in the trailer, which is kind of odd for an anime like One Punch Man that is completely centered around action. But we got a few awkward looking scenes like with Geno's dodging lasers without even really dodging. <laughs> like he was sitting there and the lasers were just kind of flying around him. Geno seemed to be the go-to for everyone talking about how bad the animation is. There's a part where he jumped off a building. It looked kind of stiff when he landed. Um, his face on that close-up. Everybody's hating on my boy Genos, man. I love Genos, but I have to agree to an extent that it doesn't look the best. I mean, you can kind of tell that it was done by a completely different studio, but like I said, I'm not going to hate on it. I'm going to hold off final judgment until we actually get the anime and at least watch a few episodes. Now, with this trailer, it's completely obvious we're not getting the same production value that we got in, in the first season. We get that, that's been talked about to death already. But what I'm saying is don't give up on it. It's still One Punch Man, I might get a lot of hate for that. 
but I, I'm not saying that I love the new animation. I don't really like it. I, I definitely prefer, from what I've seen anyway in this trailer, I prefer season one over what I've seen in this trailer. But I will say that it might not be as bad as we think it's going to be just from this trailer because the trailer didn't really show us all that much. It didn't show us too many action scenes. It showed us some odd close-ups. It showed us some odd action. Um, Saitama so looks okay. Um, I believe his name was Goro. He looks really cool. Um, there's a few other characters that look pretty cool. Um, Genos, like I said, he's the one everyone loves to hate in this in this trailer so far. Um, it might just that just might be his design for the entirety of this new season, which is just something we're going to have to accept. But I mean, it it is what it is. We're getting one, more One Punch Man, like it or dislike it. I'm still going to watch it. Hopefully. Um, there's some action scenes in there that make us go like, okay, we just need to shut the hell up and just watch it because this is awesome. Hopefully we get that, but a lot of people are pointing out the stiff animations when Saitama jumped out the building with those grocery bags. It looked like he was kind of dragged across the screen. But like I said, I'm going to hold out hope because even Dragon Ball Super, you know, like episode five, the one everyone likes to reference to, with bad animation, um, there have been some epic moments animated in Dragon Ball Super, like especially, you know, the Tournament of Power arc, the Goku versus Jiren, there were a lot of epically animated scenes there, like some Goku, Frieza, um, parts in there were, were pretty well, well animated. So let's just hope that they, for some reason, decided to show off the worst of the animation and it can only go uphill from there. Hopefully we don't see anything worse than we've already seen. But like I said, I'm still going to watch it. I'm still going to talk to you guys about it. And I'm going to do my best to enjoy it because it is One Punch Man. It's an awesome series. And, you know, even if you bash on the animation from dawn until dusk, it, it's what we get. It's, it's, it's what we get. Like, we can't do anything about it unless we go and animate it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that because <laughs> from what I've read, animation uh, animators don't have that you know their lives aren't the best anyway with the grueling hours i'm not about that life so if someone else is animating something for me even if it doesn't look as good as the previous season i'm gonna take it uh, you know i don't care but i'm not gonna say that i like it I'm not gonna say that i prefer this from what we've gotten because season one was phenomenal i'm not i'm not saying anything like that but i am just saying that um, I'm not going to be as harsh as a lot of other people are being, you know, no shots fired. Like I said, I've only watched like one or two videos, um, of people talking about it. Um, if more people that have made videos about it, which I'm sure there have been, I'm not putting it out any shots to anybody. I'm just saying that I'm personally not going to, um, hate on the anime before we even watch episode one. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just me personally. So I um, just want to know if there's any other people out there like that. And hopefully we've seen the worst of what's to come. Although it was just like what a, a minute or two uh, trailer. So if they decide to show that, usually trailers try to show off the best of something. Hopefully that was the worst. But tell me what you guys think down below. Will this animation dampen the experience for you? Or are you just going to wait to see? Tell me what you guys think. This has been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.